Hello, I'm Brett Etheridge, founder of Dominate the GRE, a leading provider of online GRE prep courses and video lessons. Now, what you're about to watch is actually a lesson taken directly from one of our full courses. So if you like what you see, head over to dominatethegre.com, check out our course offerings, and consider signing up. But for now, enjoy this free lesson. So shaded region questions are a common type of GRE geometry question, and they ask you to find the shaded area of a shaded region. And here's the mindset I want you to have. I want you to think about the shaded region as leftovers, right? Here's this funny cartoon. Gosh, socks, seems all we got is stale water and leftovers, right? I want you to think about the shaded region as leftovers. There are really no rules for finding the formula, right? No formula for finding the area of shaded regions because the shaded region is some really weird, bizarre, structure, figure. It's not, it's not a common geometric figure you're used to, like a circle or a triangle. It's kind of this weird oblong shape. And what it really is, is they're leftovers. They're the un, unorthodox geometric shapes. They're the leftovers. And so the strategy is addition by subtraction. And what I mean by that is, rule number five, to find the area of a shaded region Find the area of the entire figure, kind of the big figure, and, and subtract from it the area of the unshaded region. So you start by finding kind of the big area, and you'll see what I mean by that when we look at a few examples, and then you subtract out the unshaded stuff, and what is left over is the shaded region. As you see in this example, here we have a figure, the figure below. See that shaded region? the green section, I don't have a nice, neat formula for you to solve a shape like that. But what you can do is you can apply the rule. You can find the big area, subtract out the unshaded region, and what is left over is that green shape. In the figure below, a circular flower bed with its center at O is surrounded by a circular path that is three feet wide. What is the area of that path in square feet? In other words, what is the area of the shaded region? Go ahead and press pause. Give this one a try on your own based on what I just taught you. If you don't have the tools in your tool belt because you haven't done circles in a while or you haven't watched those videos, then you can obviously just fast forward and watch me do it. But give it a try on your own and we'll come back and talk about it together. All right, so how'd you do? You know, hopefully it's as simple as just following what I explained in, in rule number five, which is that we want to think about the shaded region as the leftovers, right? That green region is the big circle minus the unshaded circle, the big circle minus the small circle. And so on your scratch paper, you get crystal clear about what it is you're even trying to find. And so it's the like big area, I'm just going to kind of abbreviate, big area minus small area. That's it. Now, how do you actually find the respective areas? You have to know something about circles, and maybe you've gotten there, maybe you haven't, but literally all you need to know is the area formula for a circle, which is pi r squared. So we've got the big pi r squared minus the small pi r squared. And the small one, I, I always say start with the easier version. A lot of times in shaded region questions, you know, here the answer choices have obviously been kind of combined. A lot of times what will happen is the answer choices will literally look like something minus something else. Like if I had given you, I don't know, a circle inscribed in a square, like that other example, right? And... I asked you to find the shaded region, and the shaded region were the leftovers, right? In that case, I would do the area of the square, right, minus the area of the circle, and the square area would probably be a normal number, like an integer, and the circle would have a pi in it, and so the answer would probably be something minus something pi, and the answer choices would literally look that way so that I can, a lot of times, kind of work the easier one. Maybe you remember the area of the square better, maybe you remember the area of the circle better, maybe that's easier to figure out. And once you get part of it, you can usually eliminate some answer choices. Here, it doesn't really work that way. But we still can start with the easier version, right? The easier one of these to solve, and we're given that the small radius is eight, right? So eight squared is 64 pi, so it's something minus 64 pi. 
Well, none of the answer choices really look like that, so I can't eliminate any yet. I have to actually find the first part, but like I said, a lot of times you will be able to. So it's something minus 64 pi. Well, what's the radius of the big circle? Well, the problem says that the path is three feet wide, right? So we need to add another three feet. That's how wide this thing is. So in that case, the radius is going to be 11. And so 11 squared is 121. So we have 121 pi minus 64 pi. And 121 minus 64 is going to be 57, right? 50, that equals 57 pi. Answer choice D. You check it and you move on. Leftovers, right? That's the idea for finding the area of a shaded region. It could look like something like this. It could be a circle inscribed in a square. It's just something minus something else. Hello again. So did you find this video helpful? If so, just imagine how much you would learn from one of our full courses. Head over to dominatethegre.com. Check out our full course offerings. I hope you choose to partner with us so that I can further empower you to dominate the GRE.